we built the brand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it can't happen. We are culture. Nothing moves without us. This man said from the bottom of my heart. I got it on me. I'd like to take this chance to apologize. I got it on me. To absolutely no. Baby. We're back. We're back. We're back. Sicario. Um, yeah, we just finished. Watching some of these uh, some of these matches here. Yes, at the indeed. Tour stop. My old home, my home Majestic division. Lanes. Yes, majestic so, lanes. So, like the food, hate the lanes. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give you a little bit of a post game recap. Here. Yes, we're yes. Do something different. Yes, we are. Uh, again, these numbers they're unofficial. Right. Correct. So you know they won't be official until they're officially posted. Facts. On the UBA website right. and whatnot, and we'll go over it down yeah. the line. Uh, the but first this match is essentially what you're going to see. Yes. And, and then hopefully if this goes well, we can do this on a regular basis. Be, be nice. The first matchup we had here, we had uh, Total Mayhem. Yes. Uh, they took on Legion of Doom. Legion of Doom last place. Two Total of my Mayhem. favorite teams to hang out with. I know I know you know a lot of guys from Total Mayhem. Facts. So. Total Mayhem would have been the team I would have went to. Yeah. Um, wow. If I would have stayed in the division and not been good. Well, Total Mayhem, uh, they've won three straight. And they needed to, to get a, a big win here. Uh, and then not just a win, they needed a big number. They needed a big get, number. To get themselves close to a playoff spot. Right. Uh, Legion of Doom, they have no win. They, they're, they're, I think, 0-7 and, and have one draw. So they're looking for their first win of the season. Uh, really? Yeah. I didn't know it was that bad for them. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I think I think they had a 2020 tie with Misfits. And that's still, it. Still good people, though. Still good people. Right. Uh, we just saw it. Uh, Total Mayhem did get the win. They yes. won. They won 28 to 12. Okay. So I don't know. They if put that's up a, a battle. I don't know if that's a big enough number. It's not a big enough number. Uh, it's not. But it will get them closer to what we need them to see here. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, they're gonna probably need to rack up a couple of more of those and maybe hope some team maybe that's in fourth place falters. So, uh, well, it's gonna be some they got about two more weeks or three more weeks of tour. Just about. So it should be it should be pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's tough in this division, though. You know, the top four. You're looking at class act, one thing, Arsenal, one thing LA, about, one, Legacy. I mean, to get to those guys, it's gonna take a while. One thing I say about the, this division, you can put them in any other. Uh, most of the teams in this division, you can put them in any other division, and they'll bang out or yeah. not take over. You know. I can't say anything different about I that. Mean, we, may, we may have seen it with some of the other divisions. Yeah. One team jumps from one division into yeah. a new one and kind of taking the lead. And Tau division, look at uh, yeah. New England Heat. Uh, New England Heat, which That's... I'm surprised you're talking about that. But yeah, they went yeah. from... They went from the north, north the where they got pounced on. Yeah. Lights, lights and now out also. This one, and um, yeah, lights out. Lights out also, same yeah. thing. And so, now look at them. They're, they're really yeah. joining the benefits of moving divisions. Uh, the, ne the next matchup we had here was... Uh, number 16, yeah. the Arsenal. Uh, they took on Devil's Rejects. Obviously, the Arsenal... Are we really going to talk about this? I mean, we'll, okay. we'll put it out there. No disrespect to the Devil's Rejects. But, uh, and um, I hope on Sundays you go to church. This this was a 40-piece, but this wasn't a 40-piece. That was like, wow. That had that luster. Uh, the, the Devil's Rejects, they're in 11th place. They've only got one win. Yeah. Uh, but they only had six guys, I think, today. So yeah. That, that was a problem. We kind of knew that 40 pieces was going to happen. So, yeah. yeah. I, I, I expected it, actually. That was a uh, given to Arsenal with a bow tie and uh, yeah. wrapping, uh, extra week wrapping. And it's funny, if you look at the notes, I, I was putting Devil's Rejects on 40 piece alert, even if they would have had nine. <laughs> they could have had 10, and they would have probably still gotten 40 piece. Yeah, um, they still would have got. So, the Arsenal is too much of a strong team. They're gonna run. No, they 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 trouncing over everybody. A lot of people. They did, they did, and 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 now it's uh, and the thing was, they put up 40. They were one point behind Class Acts for the lead. Um, that's a big number <laughs> that you're gonna have to jump over if you're Class Acts, and and they had a humongous challenge ahead of them going against LA. LA. Like, definitely Latino the feature matchup today. Let's, yeah. let's get it correct. You're right. Latino, Latino All Stars. All -Stars. Latino All -Stars. That was the matchup. So big number there. Yeah. The, the next matchup here was a uh, third place team. You had the legacy. Mr. Tom uh, Twist. Mr. Tom Twist himself. Uh, uh, very happy that he joined us earlier. To yes. Talk about the top 50. For the top 50 gave a good apparel, good thoughts yeah. on it. Yeah. And uh, you know. They took on Dream Team. And, and I called that one too. I knew that one. Uh, uh, but no disrespect to uh, Eric Nix. No, I thought Dream Team would actually show up and win. Um, and, and Legacy is a team we had spoken about earlier. 
if they had shown up in week one and bowled against, they were the team that was supposed to welcome Area 51A, one of the newest teams exactly. in the UBA. Uh, right. And if you saw our first episode, that's kind of where we started. Got it. Exactly. If they would have bowled and competed against that team. Uh, they could be undefeated. They yep. could be in first place in this division. division. Maybe. And they could have been in the top ten in the I UBA. I mean, the way the points so. are, maybe, yes. Yeah. But I, I think that was something that they had. Yeah. They did get a nice win here against Dream Team. Yeah. They won 30-10. to 10. Um, It's definitely going to keep them close to to Class X and to the Arsenal. I think Arsenal right. is probably going to take I the lead of the division now. I couldn't agree more with that, yeah. Um, well... Yeah. It'll keep them close. I don't know about the next team. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 right now, uh, Dream Team, they had dropped their last two. This loss now has them dropping their last three. Three. And what you don't want is they're dropping out of existence. potentially challenging for a playoff spot and out of existence, to be Which honest. Which th- I think that's happening, man. Uh, right, that's happening. right now it is. It is. Looks like they, they're just here for fun. I mean, and that's not something that you want to hear from that I mean, team. You, you know? want to hear it, but you also want to hear a competitive bowling. You want competitive bowling. The UBA is a step up from regular bowling. Let's get that's, it clear. There's not. You yeah. have other people that are out there, but this we're a step league. up this from other, a whole other league. Yeah. Yeah. The next matchup that we had here, we had Messenger Mafia. Yes, sir. Uh, they were going against dysfunctional bowlers. This is a seven versus eight matchup here. Really? Yeah. So uh, I didn't think it was that close. Well, the standings aren't. Uh, Messenger Mafia's an eighth. They're lo- they're about 25 or 26 behind yeah. the functional bowlers. Okay. Uh, but they're two and six. The functional bowlers is three and five, uh, okay. which is a surprise to me. Very again, surprising. this is a very tough division. Yeah. Uh, Messenger Mafia, they just lost to Total Mayhem. Uh, and uh, I think a lot of people expected. Shout them out to, to Nick be- Gavin. Nick Gavron <laughs> is in the building. Still, still hanging out with us. <laughs> Messenger Mafia, they, they, they're coming off a loss to Total Mayhem. I think a lot of teams kind of expect this function of bowlers to steamroll them. Yeah. I think this may be a little, this should have been a closer match. This should have been a close match. Um, this function of bowlers, this is a must win for them. To be in contention for playoffs. They're not going to win the division. Just to get close, just to get just close to, get close to, to the division. fourth right. spot. Yeah. Uh, because I think that the top four teams are really distancing themselves from, from the everybody. Of the exactly. Uh, They're the upper echelon. Yeah. I thought this would be very, very close. Um, it wasn't, unfortunately. I think dysfunctional bowlers win this 28 to 12. Right. I kind of saw this being more of a, uh, a 26 14, 24 16 match. Well, you know, Messi's Mafia, they're, they're actually building. Uh, this is their, technically their first year. Yeah, they, so I they're building up. They're they, going to take their lumps. They're going to take their lumps here. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't see that as a problem. So. You know, dysfunctional bowlers, they do get this win. I don't think they're close enough to catch any of the other teams. Uh, and that may be that may, uh, be, the that may be the downfall of them this year. Yeah. Uh, the next matchup we had was, the, we came down here for this, for matchup. this matchup. This was the feature matchup. Yeah, we gave, was, Bill, we gave Bill the chance. We gave him a chance, and unfortunately, we couldn't make it here today. Uh, I don't know if that hurt their team or not. Uh, they took on Latino All-Stars. I think Latino All-Stars. Ranked number 43. Yes. Uh, they took a hit in the rankings. Versus a team 10. Well, they took a tough loss to the Arsenal. Arsenal took 35 from Latino All Stars. Yeah, they did. Class X, uh, they're the number nine team in the UBA. Right. Uh, Latino All Stars, I think, came in here with a chip on their shoulder, to be honest. I don't think they liked the, the fact that Arsenal left the bad group. The fact that Arsenal came out with that big 35 to 5 win. And I think that left a bad taste in, in, in the mouths of the Latino All-Stars, yeah. to be honest. So, they were coming out here, I think, with some motivation. Yeah. Uh, and I think that back-to-back losses for L.A. For L.A., that was big. That was not, that's not something that they, they would do. Yeah. You uh, know? Class acts, again, they're still undefeated. Uh, and I see still that they were underestimated. Yeah. The division. Uh, this was the test. This was, this, this was, to me, was the, was the epitome of it. This, let me tell you something. So, getting that win against Arsenal showed me that Class X was for real. Getting the win against LA today okay. would show me that they're the real deal. Right. That, that did not happen. All right. Uh, it, Basically, he's calling Class X UBA again. 
No, I'm not. I'm not calling him Nubia. But if you want to come in here and say that you want to make a run. Oh, no, no, the they're, they're still making a run. They're still making a run. This they is their just, first loss of the they season. They just ran their first bump. Right. Now, Latino All-Stars won 24 to 16. So it was a close matchup. Right. Um, I don't have the numbers in front of me, so I don't know exactly how close. Right. Uh, but that, this is definitely something that I'll review later. Yeah. I'll look at these stats and these numbers. Uh, again, now, you. here's the thing. Class X, again, there was a one-point difference here. They only took 16. Arsenal now took 40. That, that Arsenal's back on the run. 20, and also, there's some ground now. There's yep. at least a 20, 23 point gap now between the two teams. We got to see who Arsenal actually wants to give that respect to. Well, Arsenal's going to have to bowl Legacy. Yes. Uh, that's that's going to be a huge matchup that's gonna coming be a huge up down matchup. the line. Uh, I'm pretty sure Tom Twist is excited for that. I'm yeah. pretty sure Nick Gavron is excited for that. I'm actually, I'm, a, I'm actually interested in that match. Uh, yeah. I think I, uh, I am too. Legacy is not going to hold back. I don't think Arsenal is definitely going to hold back. No. I know. Um, no. I don't see no burn for Matt Rodriguez, but. Um, <laughs> Matt Rodriguez. <is> <laughs> he doesn't want to bowl no more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know there was a 300 shot today for you guys, right? That was it. Was yeah, two 300s. Two 300s for Two. Him? We might as well have him sit over here and talk with him. Yeah. He, he's cuddling. He's cuddling Pepper. He's spooning with Gordon. Right now. I don't know who's the big spoon or the he's little. He's getting spoon. on Pepper's good side. We're not, we're not even gonna move the camera over there because. No, we can't. You need like. Because I don't want no more technical difficulties. We, we don't need to change our rating off of G. <laughs> Listen here. Let's let's reel it back in. Let's reel it back in. Let's reel it back so in. at the end of the day, <laughs> uh, the last matchup we had, <laughs> which was uh, Area 51A, uh, they took on the Misfits. The Misfits. Um, Area 51A. They lost their last four, and they've only averaged about six points over the last four. So yeah. They're not looking good. Uh, this, this was Misfits. a good chance for them to win, though, against Misfits. Misfits, right now, they started off really bad. They're actually 2-1-1 one, and one draw in their last four matches. That's not bad. So, yeah, and and uh, their first win of the season was actually here at Majestic. Yeah. Uh, which was one of the reasons why I like the Misfits to win here. And and unfortunately, I don't think that Area 51 was able to feel the full squad either. No, so they that, weren't. That, I think, what they had six as well. So that was going to be an issue. Obviously, Misfits here, uh, no 40 piece. No. But, uh, they did get a 30, 30 to 10, 10. win. Yeah. Um, so. So did they? they they did. They won 30 to 10. Oh, 30 to 10. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Kudos for the, the six guys that showed up from Albany because that's a long way to here. That's a long way. You know, division, I mean, as I said, the UBA is still growing, so yeah. you have the whole bunch of parts, a whole I bunch mean, of things. So. I mean, eventually it would be nice to have a division up that way. Yeah. That connects to the area, get a couple teams out there. Albany, good. New York is definitely a big area. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Again, once we get the official numbers, uh, we'll be able to elaborate we'll more on that. Yeah, we'll be able to do that. Obviously, around the UBA will be one of those. Yeah. Those and then after this, you know, that we can we can look out for. But that's actually a good look. And yeah. I guess it's off to our next segment. Yeah. I mean, I mean, to cap this thing off. Yeah. Uh, we'll have uh, GG Gordon's game coming up. Gordon's game coming up. We with, gave uh, us a name for it. Let me see what's it called. It's called higher, higher or, or lower. lower. So is it higher or lower? <laughs> and actually, we got another person joining us, uh, which also we'll be talking about his debut uh, with the UBA. We'll bring him on after this. Yeah, after this. All right. Next we'll up.